poverty, drug abuse, unemployment, child neglect, among other factors in Uganda have led young girls between the age of 13 and 24 to engage in transactional sex work, while others have fallen victim to human trafficking. Before I joined you there, my life was so miserable, whereby I had to sleep with men to get what to eat. I had to use my body to get my basic needs of life. I had no relative to help me. I had nobody by my side. Only using my body was my way of surviving. Chizinga, <laughs> Atumukolera, <laughs> Wana funa mkwano jangenga babela ku street ne wangamba lachi togenda ku street ku street waliyo center kati wena genda yo atene atene nsangira dalubula mu boku tubugunyizibwa ono msaje akoze soli akoze sa ono taku ene center zo bado subira tazikuwadde kati okukakana nga atemfunye no rubuto inafuna olubuto olubuto olonga no lusimbusa busa simanya ani alufunyisiza naye when I ring and ya onga, then you get is one new in your cutting and little butto, such as so on a yoke, no yoke, bend up street, cutting and bed out, sitting up, sitting up, yam be one on such a in it, Narissim, Manu, Kuanga, or such old Napo ends of one of a Satuana, Oblam Bangu, or Nobom, but if the Wang so come among Yanza and Sura, which natural channel manual committee of Wang, Nasura Jaja. The <laughs> The Pavers project mainly targets uh, girls and young women between the ages of 13 to 24 years in Kawempe and Rubaga divisions. The factors that have uh, the drivers of oh, these girls into sexual exploitation include poverty. Of course, uh, we all know about the rampant poverty. Lack of employable skills is also another factor that has pushed many of them into sexual exploitation. You know, uh, the biggest number of uh, young people are orphans. They have lost their parents due to HIV and AIDS. So they end up dropping out of school. They lack, uh, you know, 
basic needs by basic requirements some are pushed or trafficked and brought into you know the uh, urban settings to work as maids where they face challenges of uh, abuse and uh, you know exploitation which pushes them into uh, commercial sex work as uh, you know an alternative Uganda Youth Development Link in partnership with Plan Uganda are implementing the partnership for empowerment of vulnerable girls and women in urban slums of Kampala city a project which has equipped these girls with life changing skills I have been um, in charge of coordinating the Pevas project which is the partnership for empowerment of vulnerable girls and young women and this project is being uh, implemented by Uganda Youth Development Link in partnership with Plan Uganda and um, we have received this grant from Comic Relief UK which has supported us to reach uh, 600 girls in a period of 3 years and uh, so far we have had tremendous achievements as we had aimed to reach a total of 900 girls who were engaging in sexual in sex work but also who had been uh, sexually exploited or abused or affected in one way or another or who were at risk of um, engaging in sexual exploitation or transaction or sex as a project we've targeted only 900 girls which means our initiatives have been really still a drop in the ocean it means there's still a lot more work that needs to be done there's still very many vulnerable girls out there but i must say i am very happy to note that um we've recorded a lot of achievements as a project we have so far achieved our target all the 900 girls not the fact that it's not just about training these are girls who are very vulnerable and are prone to relapse back you know into sex work udel has a number of social workers who usually conduct individual and group counseling sessions for the girls and this has greatly impacted on their lives we have very many of the girls now abandoning sex work and we have very many key achievements as a project to record you can see that where they have been somewhere so far behind it. but as i'm seeing now they are active so that that one is showing that in the future they will be self employed Uganda Youth Development Link works with different stakeholders to identify girls to benefit from the Pervers project. During the implementation of Pervers project, we've worked with uh, different stakeholders including uh, the police, uh, especially the CFPU office, the Child and Family Protection Unit office. They have been very key in uh, identifying the sexually exploited girls and also referring cases that they come across during their operations and we have also worked with the Kampala City Council Authority majorly CDO Community Development Officer who has also participated a lot in uh, trying to counsel and guide the the the, the beneficiaries while here at the center that also imparted uh, skills uh, in terms of coaching and mentorship especially on the CDD fund and the youth livelihood which we are still trying to ensure that we can link the beneficiaries to at least get support for further development uh, we have also worked closely with the probation and social welfare officer the youth officer the labor officer they have been key in uh, facilitating and uh, sensitizing the bar and lodge owners on the uh, laws and rather labor laws and regulations that should guide their work they have been very key in uh, doing that they have also participated in identifying uh, the victims of uh, sexual exploitation in the different um, localities we have what we call the moonlight sessions we go out when the moon is out We look for these girls on the different streets of Rubaga Division. We have what we call the hot spots. When we find these girls, it is always a group of social workers, artisans, peer educators, even the different stakeholders. We work hand in hand 
have always participated in these activities. The bar and lodge owners were also brought on board, the pimps, as uh, stakeholders because we all know that they are the ones who traffic and also employ most of the girls, which uh, the exposes them to sexual abuse and sexual exploitation with the local leaders as well, the peer educators and uh, you know the community volunteers in the different brothels in the different slum settings have been very key in mobilizing, in sensitizing, in following up, in participating. So when we identify these girls, we encourage them to come to Udell, to the different Udell centers. And of course, this being our mother center, we have always told them, you know what, come to Nakulavia Center, we shall always be in position to support you. Uganda Youth Development League is the founder member of the Task Force Committee. And it is also a founder member of a, a, a loose co coalition of civil societies that are dealing in, in countering trafficking in persons in the country. So it, uh, UDEL has been at the center of backing up government uh, effort to fight this crime. It, it has been financing, uh, supporting uh, uh, the organization of stakeholder meetings to discuss this problem and then come up with resolutions and then also guide on future, future, future effort. It has also been uh, holding uh, uh, capacity building trainings. It has been also sponsoring capacity building trainings for, for police officers and other stakeholders from the various other ministries like Minister of Gender, like uh, uh, like the Director of Public Constitutions, and then also within the civil service and then probation officers and even sometimes the district officials. So it has been instrumental in building capacity, training the people concerned about the proper way of managing this crime. You there uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the course of this uh, sponsored the development of a handbook on, on, on management of victims of trafficking, which we are applying now, which is uh, stakeholders are using in the country. Uh, UDER has also been having, uh, giving direct services to victims of trafficking and other sexual offenses. They have been handling victims of human trafficking internally, those who are victims internally here, especially children, uh, young girls, young children, and, and who are trapped from within here. And then also, they have been also helping uh, some of those ones who have been trapped uh, uh, from Uganda to foreign countries when they are rescued. Uh, for me, as, as a coordinator, I am very grateful to the role you there is playing. Uh, it has been at center, the center of, of, of this managing this crime, and it has helped us shape. They are, they are part of the, 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 we share the successes we have done with them, and we continue working with them. They have been helping a lot. It has supplemented a lot government effort in the management of this crime. After three years of partnership for empowerment of vulnerable girls and women in urban slums of Kampala City project implementation, Uganda Youth Development Link has greatly transformed the lives of 900 girls in Ibuaisi and Nankulabi centers in Kampala. You have to make good lines. They have to be neat, clear. Hmm? And when you are plating, eh, you have to tight the what? The lobe, such that eh, it becomes very neat. Obulamu wangi. Nga sina baku ingira muyudero. Wale buzibu nyo 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 nga bochi ulira. Atena alisichi suvira anti mniza no kutusa zinesao. Nga nchari mulamu luachi. Kubanga, engeli jinali ntukumi nzibu wa munga sina baku ingira muyudero. Yali imbi nyo nyo nyo. Na eka tipo na ingira mchitongole cha yudero munga. Nefu ne mire mbe jiriri. Kubanga, baso kane wanka nsolinga. Ne, when I would live with you, young and Ivan counseling, and Evangelism, Navy and Galo. 
atenze hopi yange nalinga njagala nye mviri nga nze gomba nyo nga wenda wa muntu nga asibye mviri nga mwe gomba nyo na yenga sirina chance yo kubango bulamu bwange nalisi mindset buli chuka ne butuka ku ku level je buli ko nalisi chiwanti busobolo chuka na ye bwa chuka butia nga ntadde mu amanyi nenji gebye mviri bulunji bwe nabiga bulunji era ne ba mu yudero mwenyini ne bamfunira omulimu Era kati nange ni naba na ben training atengera bali mu center ya yudelele eye banda I got skills like hairdressing electronics and now I'm in a salon I can take care of my life and my daughter I can do whatever thing I want I can get money through a good way not sleeping with men I can sustain my life from the skills I gained from you there and now I'm happy, I'm living a happy life whereby if the machines get spoiled I can clearly repair them, I can repair my gadgets, I am well now. Kati wano msaruni yange, so loko la nene tu sako bulichimu, nengo ye nenze gulida, nengu lako ye chokulia, kate nensa surako renti, Nganso ya no kuhimiza wa familia ya nge kati, hati luliche nali suso wa kolashi. Kula na ye kati nsolo chikole. La suso wa kwebeza wa ngomu wa no mwala wa sovolo kolashi, ukubeza wa nga taina wa zaadi. Baka stuma wabaji ya wetu batu koze nyo. Uluna ku, baka stuma wababa nga wabaji nga wabaji, uluna kumuinzo kula ni mituwa longe itano wa mkaga. Kati kumituwa lo mkaga na entele kako, nindi ya kone nisiga denso ulo sasura renti. Kuboi na jana kuchitongo ni shayude, bulamba nge wachuka, na ige mviri, na ige vye mikono vinji, bulamba nge wachuki la dala nyo, na iga bekale, na iga pedikuwa, manikuwa, saji, chalani, kumba kiki za wangole, Kugamba ulamba nge wachu kanyo. Kati ndina salu ni wengkula, nkula vya mvili. Kugamba ulamba nge wachu kanyo. Habili chenja kala so chetu sako. Na inga nina chidja mwudero. Uli nari nkwe sambili kwa nge. Ufune chu chenja kala. Na inga tisicha asobola. Ulamba nge wachu kanyo. Ulamba nge saa wenu. Kati nsobola ukwewe zao. Sobolo okufumba, buimansa ze wanti kufumba kita ringi, kusika dadi zingezo, sobolo okusiba baka stome mvili, okubeza obula mbwangi na bana bangi, siche jusa, siche asobola kudama vega jenali, mwuri mungu kwe tunda, uweso nga yudero, yantu usakwecho, chinali netaga, uwa chinali ndu, vili daba na bangi vasoma, na ngeendi bulu unji, sobolo okubeza obula mbwangi. Yudero is one of our partners. We work as government, we work, we initiate policies, we agree on programs, we consult all key stakeholders concerning these programs, and then we monitor the, the implementation with them. They are the ones that implement, we also implement, but we monitor that implementation. UDEL is one of those organizations, especially in programs related to youth, youth empowerment, and the youth uh, in the areas of sexual, commercial sexual abuse and sexual, sexual exploitation and also trafficking of children, but also youth livelihood. The lives of the girls that have benefited from the Pivos project shall never be the same again. Mchitongo lechi na chayu dero tuize binji katiku geza nge mvili chala ni tuize njerije tufuma mke kiyo njerije tusiba mwaba gole kwe tugamba tisiche njusa ela sisoba na kudayo mbela jenarimu kubanga katineko leda nina senta zange katisicha loleza mbasa jangabu nijowe tuali tuchikola. Batu wa denta andi kwa kuyodee. Reansu vilo kuwe ongena masa suvi la kuda mabega kuda yomu mbele mbi jenarimu. Kwa mfunye ntandi kwenye nungi. Ena neba zanyo yudeo, nechito ngole chao Uganda plan. Bana yetuwe ya nzanyo tuwe ya nze, getuli wa sanyo funyo. Ntusa kukwa nguzi mbade susubi, mbade susubi na mbule mungu wange. Mpulila mbule mbule sanyo. 
kuchitonga le yudero kwa hivyo nchi ya sao kwa hivyo nchi ya mba faba notari kwa mwasirizi kule ya sanyo ya manyo kwa hivyo nange wa nange wenjo gira jemfudo wangi jinarimu nembe la jinarimu kakati nebu hindi mpuri yanga I'm so happy nansu ya nja kwa hivyo musanyo nja hata mbuze milimo jiangenze so mye mviri ya kwa hivyo kwa hivyo nji ya mulimo buwange kwa hivyo mpade nebu ya kutandi kila kwa hivyo nenda kuchika usaruni yange Wengi tamu za bunge muri mabuange, nange mowisele bidia sanga fanya wa kantu, nange tani koko kwa tida kuba na ba nanga ba ringa zavali ba fa na nanga zetu, kule sana ni nakuwa ba zaidi dero yonne kuwangu zikuwa tukusi zako. So we provide them with startup kits as well, but we also had a huge component on psychosocial support, because it's not just the alternative livelihood we want. We want the girls to abandon sex work. And abandoning this is not just about giving them a skill in hairdressing, giving them a skill in tailoring and all that. We do a lot of psychosocial support.